Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, my name is Monica here on this channel. I do DIYs, crafting, and occasionally revamping. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button to like this video. That is what helped my channel to grow. So please hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed as of yet. And hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Also, we have some beautiful Kirkland inspired DIYs. So let's get started with DIY number one. DIY number one, we have this Kirkland inspired piece, Harvest Blossom, that we're going to create using some of these apple juice bottles from Dollar Tree. We also have these domino wooden game pieces from Dollar Tree. And we have these rub on pieces from Dollar Tree. And the roses um, I purchased from Dollar General. These are $3 a stem. However, I did not pay $3 for them. I got them on sale. Now what I'm just showing you here, normally what I do when these uh, bottles have stickers on them, I just soak them into a water. And I'm just trying to show you here, once you have it good and wet, you can scrape these up. Now what I will advise though, just make certain that you just soak them for a while and that paper should come completely off. Now you probably will be left with a little glue residue and the only thing that you would have to do is just take some alcohol and spray it and take your uh, good sharp razor and scrape that glue residue off. Now here you see that they, um, the black ink of the uh, expiration date is on there. The only thing that I'm doing is just taking some nail polish remover and removing that um, ink from the bottle. So here I have some stems that were from some old um, fl florals that I had. Um, I cut those stems, all three stems down to the same size so that the um, flowers will have the same um, height when we get ready to put them in the bottle. So I've, um, I'm applying those stems to all of the roses now here the red rose was just a little bit higher and i just had to cut not the stem i had to cut down that little piece that you stick the um stem up into i cut that down a little bit now what you see me doing here is actually folding the stems down so that they're not going all the way down in the bottle because we don't want it to um the stem to be showing in the um, bottom of the bottle i'm folding them to actually fit down into the mouth at the top of the bottle. And so once you get your fold on the first one, just how you like, make sure that you fold all the rest in the same um, length so that your um, flowers are at the same height. Now, what you see me doing here is taking the hot glue and I put some hot glue on the stem of the rose and I'm going, I glued it to the mouth of the um, bottle and I'm doing this for all three of them so once I have all three glued to the bottle now I'm just taking some um, green leaves from some other florals and just gluing it down inside the um, mouth of the bottle as well now you do not need a whole bunch of hot glue here you guys you're just gonna glue just a little just to fold that leaf down just a little so here now we're going to take that um, domino piece you're gonna need three of those um domino piece and i'm cutting it down um using this paint stir stick because i did not want them that wide onto the um bottle so i use this paint stir stick as a little guide and i just um cut it cut them down to size using scissors so once you have them cut down to size, we're making um, tags here, you guys. I forgot to mention that. We're making tags for our bottles that is going to um, have our wording on there. So use your scissors and cut these down. Um, I have already made my um, tag piece, so I'm just using that as my um, sample to um, cut down for this piece as well. Now once you have uh, all your tag pieces done you're then going to take your stain if you choose to stain them you can leave it as is but i did stain mine with this valspar canyon brown paint 
make certain that you get your sides and your top all good now i know you're probably wondering what did i do to the back now for the back with the um actual like domino uh looking piece on there i just peeled that off now here i'm taking my drill i took all three at once and just drilled a hole so that the um hole can be the same uh, distance on all of them now once you have your hole drilled in them we're then going to take a piece of jute twine and we're going to put in um inside those holes now i'm choosing my wording from these um rub on stickers from dollar tree and I'm going to apply them once I have my jute twine tied and see as you can see here I'm just tying a little knot at the top of the um, where the hole is at I'm sorry I got lost there for a minute <laughs> um, I'm applying uh, the jute twine inside the hole now what I'm doing here is just applying my wording once i have my wording on i'm going to take that small piece as you can see that i left out on the jute twine and i'm going to glue that to the mouth of the um bottle what i'm showing you here now i'm taking um just a little bit of hot glue not much you guys i'm gluing that smaller piece first onto the jute twine you're going to have your longer piece left over and you're just going to wrap that all the way around up under your leaves once you um have it all wrapped around just take a little bit of hot glue and um glue that down so that it's on securely and clip off that little piece at the um that we initially started with at the top so here you can stop at this point but of course me i wanted to embellish this a little bit more i took these uh, little small cute pine cones that dollar tree does sell in a bag that um you can purchase if you choose to do it this route like i said you if you do choose to do this um you can leave it alone um once you have gotten to this point but i did want to embellish this just a little bit more with these pine cones to give them even more of a prettier look and i have to say you guys i really like this project it came out good and that is diy Okay, you guys moving on to our diy number two our um second kirkland inspired piece was from this black welcome wood um statue sign that i saw of course now this is not an exact piece that's why i say it's inspired i'm using this pumpkin sign from dollar tree um i initially started was going to paint the welcome sign with the white waverly paint so just pay that no attention i'm using this natural um uh, neutral uh colored um stain we have the paint stir sticks and these black spray paint and we also have this uh um, like farmhouse ribbon from dollar tree and we're going to be using um this little um uh, pen that we'll be doing the lines with so what i'm doing here first is just removing that leaf from this um pumpkin I will be also this pumpkin comes with a, a little jute twine hanger so I'm going to be removing it as well the next thing that you'll see me doing is um, removing this uh, glitter that is on this pumpkin sorry you guys I'm lost this morning but I will be moving this glitter from the pumpkin with a um, sander that is also from Dollar Tree you want to make certain that you get that glitter off real good now what I started out with this was initially going to be the front side of my actual um, 
pumpkin that I was going to use. That's why you see me glittering it. I mean, not glittering it, but removing the glitter. And this was going to be the only side that I actually uh, spray painted. But when I was spray painting it, I, uh, the wording still came through. So I did have to come back in and actually uh, put a coat of black chalk paint on top so both sides actually got spray painted twice but i used the opposite side that didn't have the lettering and i painted that with the black chalkboard paint so here what i'm doing is getting our stand base ready i took two paint stir sticks i used some hot glue as well as wood glue and i put those together and let that dry for a while now i will advise you guys anytime you're using uh wood glue or any other um glue that you're actually um wanting to dry give it about 24 hours to dry but for video purposes i did not have time to allow this to uh, have 24 hours to do a complete dry so what you see me doing here is just staining this paint um the paint stir stick that is going to be our stand piece with this um valve bar um stain and i'll put the name of the stain down in the description box and also you guys make certain that you're um looking down in the description box i always put the um list of supplies that i'm using in the um description box now here you see me just taking that metallic and i changed the pen you guys this is the metallic pen that you can also get from dollar tree and i'm just applying the lines to make this look as though it's a wooden look because if you notice um in the inspiration piece from kirkland it is a wood um pumpkin so i'm taking the i'm not using a rule you can use a ruler also i'm using one of these paint stir sticks just to guide me and i just drew the four lines onto it now here i have my uh, welcome sign I'm going to glue it down. I spray paint it. Remember I tell you in the beginning, I had that white chalk paint out and I was going to paint the welcome sign, but I changed uh, my mind and I just spray painted it with um, some white um, regular spray, spray paint. So now I'm going to take the um, ribbon that's from Dollar Tree as well, just doing a regular simple bow that we're gonna apply to the top of the um pumpkin now once you have your ribbon all um done up how you want it um just hot glue it on and then we're going to take our pumpkin turn it over and we're gonna um put some some of the tower blocks now you will notice that um on this next clip when we're getting ready to put the um tower blocks that i have cut them down in half and that is because i did not want the tower block to actually be seen so what i did was cut it down in half and uh, we're going to apply those at the bottom of those three little points on the actual pumpkin now when you're gluing these on try to make certain that you're close to the very edge of that pumpkin when you're gluing these on because you need these to be able to lie flatly onto the uh, paint stir stick when we get ready to glue them so now we're getting ready to glue them we're going to take some hot glue now i will advise to put a little um of e6000 or super glue on here just for a good sturdy hold uh, what i'm just using now is some regular hot glue and I'm going to apply that. Sorry that I'm out of focus on this one. But the only thing that I'm doing is just applying the hot glue to the bottom of those um, wood tower um, little planks. And I glued it to our paint sticks. And there we go. You guys, I really like this one. Comment at the bottom to let me know what you thought about this particular uh, DIY. Because I really like this one. That's DIY. Okay, you guys, moving on to DIY number three, 
we will be making a wooden pool box. This is not an actual Kirkland inspired piece. This is a piece that I've been wanting to make for a while now. So I have this crate here that I purchased from a local store called Dirt Cheap. I have the eucalyptus um, bundle. This bundle right here is from Walmart. I also have two other eucalyptus um, stems from Dollar Tree. As you can also see here, I have the um, three little um, pumpkins from Dollar Tree. And I also have the, um, of course, the Valspar Canyon Brown um, stain. And I also have my um, staple gun. So, what I'm going to do next is a, um, for the top portion of my um, wood box, toolbox, I'm applying this um, piece that you can see here with those two rounded little circular piece. I'm applying that to the top of a um, paint stir stick. Um, we'll be hot gluing this on as well as using some wood glue. So this piece came from another project you guys that I um, use on another DIY. I'm not familiar. I uh, can't remember which DIY I used it on. But um, this is a, a piece that I'm now using for my top piece. Now I will admit if I did have um, the rounded piece from... Um, Dollar Tree plunger. Now I've shown you different DIYs that I've used with the um, plunger piece for um, different DIYs. Now I would rather have that particular um, wood piece from that um, plunger and I would have placed that in the middle of my two um, paint stir sticks but I didn't have them so hey I had to get uh, use what I had. So here I'm not going to bore you guys with all of me sitting here paint staining this because the stain did take a while because you want to make certain that you get in all of the grooves on this particular box. Um, now the only thing that I really didn't paint stain was at the actual bottom on the outside and the actual bottom on the inside of the um, box. So here I have everything stained. I'm just taking these um, little brackets and putting them on the um, front side of my box um, each corner now once I have those hammered in now this is something totally optional if you do choose to do this uh, particular DIY you don't have to do that I just wanted something just to embellish this a little bit more so next I'm gonna take my two uh, paint stir sticks I'm gonna place them on the side in the middle as you can see here I'm taking my stapler and I'm going to just put it. I'm taking a stapler and putting in two staples on each side of the um, the box with our um, paint stir sticks. Now these paint stir sticks did have the um, ruler on the sides of them. Now I face the ruler portion on the inside. Now if you want yours on the outside, that's fine. I just put mine on the inside. Now once I have both of those up on the side, now what I'm doing is applying my top um, piece and I'm just using hot glue. I then go back later and just put in one staple just to secure that hole a little bit more. Now the next step after I get that um, top piece applied, and I'm sorry that I'm out of range you guys, but um, once I get that top piece applied, I'm then going to move to putting in um, the greenery. So I do not like um, having to fill up a whole lot of greenery into the box because I feel like that's being wasteful because you can use greenery um, for something else. So I like to take some type of paper um, or whatever filler just to fill that in before I put my greenery in. As you can see here, I just used some um, some of that um, brown shipping paper and crumbled it up. And I also have some um, leaves that I put into the front of the um, wood planter just to hide that um, brown um, paper some. 
and then after that then that's when I start placing in my actual eucalyptus pieces now once I put in my eucalyptus pieces as to how I like them I will then place my um, pumpkins on top of those these um, three little pumpkins have a clip that I definitely like because you can just definitely clip those on two instead of having to hot glue it down into your um greenery you can just use that clip and clip it onto your um eucalyptus now once i have all of my eucalyptus in and um, place the arrangement how i want then you'll see me take the harvest sign now this harvest sign as well as the welcome sign is from dollar tree they come in a three pack i think um the word harvest welcome and thankful what's in these i got these like last year but i'm quite sure dollar tree will probably have these again um this year so that's where i got those from i did not paint the harvest sign i kept it in its um natural um form and i just hot glued it on the front now i know you see the greenery peeking out a little in front but those will be pushed back now once i do um put my harvest sign on there that is going to complete this diy you guys um leave a comment and let me know what you would have done differently here um leave a comment let me know if you actually like this particular um diy or not that's going to complete diy now As always you guys I thank you so much for viewing my channel uh, please remember to hit that thumbs up button hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video if you haven't done so subscribe and remember you can follow me on Instagram at UKNEIK and also remember to check the description box out again have a wonderful day you guys